Okay. So can you describe the moment you first found out you won the Nobel Prize? It was at 5 in the morning and uh, my, my wife was awake. She took the phone, uh, the, the call, and uh, uh, she's a Texan and she's an uh, up-in-your-face kind of person. <laughs> she talked uh, the guy who called Mr. Do you know what time it is in Chapel Hill? You called me this hour or something like that. Anyhow, he said, yeah, I know what's important, an important call. So she woke me up and uh, she said, I told this from Stockholm. I honestly don't remember. Uh, all I remember was she said this important call. I have a big family in Turkey and uh, five o'clock uh, phone calls usually don't you know, make the good news. So I thought was something happened to the family. So then the uh, gentleman said, uh, we're calling from Stockholm. What brought you to the Chapel Hill area? And what do you like about UNC? <laughs> so basically, UNC was the only place that gave me a chance to I just sort of show that I And uh, I really didn't know much about um, UNC, except while we were this um, uh, negotiation with uh, by uh, UNC was going on. Michael Jordan won the national championship oh, really? for us, and I remember watching it at Yale actually, and 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 so so UNC was in the news and, and so on. But uh, by that point, I had started to come anyway. But uh, yeah, I, I didn't know much about UNC, but once I came here. Um, you know, I mean, you, you told me good schools that you're interested in, and uh, having been at Yale, uh, you developed this um, arrogant attitude that um, uh, um, Ivy League or bust, and uh, that that was my attitude too. Uh, Harvard, Yale, Stanford, Yale. Um, Etc. or either those schools or I'm, I'm not taking well okay so I come here this is a very exciting place I mean uh, some of them uh, really um, fundamental methods in molecular biology were developed at UNC and so when I came here I said wow this is a great place and, and sure enough it, uh, scientifically it is it's very um, very strong, and then of course with the two universities here, um, yeah, it, 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 it's great scientifically, uh, I think. Um, in addition to that, um, it's, um, it's a wonderful place to live, and, um, and of course we have our sports. <laughs> yeah. And you probably heard, my, my, my main passion is women's soccer. Yeah, yeah. Good, yeah. yeah. Do you follow a lot of UNC sports? I, I uh, w women's soccer, uh, uh, I try not to miss any of their games, yeah, and um, uh, women's basketball, uh, Ivy Lata, you, you guys did not know, she played in 205, so. Um, can you tell me a little bit about your background in Turkey? Background, um, I grew up right here. Mardin is the uh, is the city, and actually, I, I was born in, in a small town near Mardin called Sabur. It's a farm, and so I, I grew up on, on a farm. Uh, we, 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 we grew up, uh, fruits and vegetables and something like that. And uh, yeah, uh, I, I grew up uh, on a farm and. Uh, We did not have, uh, we, we had uh, elementary and junior high, but not uh, high school in, in my hometown. So then I, I went to Marlin City for, for high school. And there, uh, I was the goalkeeper of the high school team. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Uh, and I, uh, my, my, uh, uh, aim in life was to play for the Turkish national team. Oh, really? And so after uh, I got the Nobel Prize uh, 
search me in sort of ambush me here and there, want to know everything about me and I did mention that and when Turkish national team heard that they uh, autographed a national uniform for me. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, um, what kind of student were you in high school? And um, at that time, did you expect to accomplish the things that you've accomplished so far? I, I was very good student in high school, but like I said before, really my real goal was to be a goalkeeper for the national <laughs> team. But uh, uh, then I, I realized I, I, I needed a few more inches to be really outstanding goalkeeper. And, uh, uh, um, and girls always dump me in high school, so... <laughs> Me too. <laughs> so I, I gave myself to studies and uh, so I, I was very good student. Um, at what point did you know you wanted to pursue a career in science? Uh, I had an outstanding uh, chemistry teacher, teacher in uh, uh, my junior year in high school. And at that point I, I decided to become a chemist. Um, why do you think it's important for students to study science? I've made this comment especially for my part of the world. You, you hear about this tragedy in Syria, not just in Syria, in Syria and Iraq and Afghanistan, now it's spreading into yes. Turkey. And I think if, if in, in, in those places we emphasize um, sciences science education to our kids, rather than um, uh, political issues, social issues, because, you know, there are lots of ethnic groups, uh, religious groups, etc. In, in that part of the world, um, uh, I had uh, Jewish friends, Yazidis, Suryani, Muslims, very sexual Muslims, and so what's happening there is they just deal with that stuff. Who cares whether you're Muslim or Jewish or Syrian or, or whatever? You teach your, your kids uh, sciences so that they contribute to, 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 to human uh, progress. And I think that, that's what I emphasize, well, you know, that call that I got from, uh, well, while you were here is from Turkish newspaper. They now ask my opinion about everything. Uh, that's what I tell them. Just, you know, make sure that uh, our kids are scientific, especially our girls. I did install, you know, uh, part of Turkey where they, they don't send their girls to school. Also, given, given all the, um, the tensions that have been in that area recently and everything that pulls people apart, Science could be a unifying thing that brings right, people right, together. Right, yeah, if, if, if you're doing science, you don't care. I mean, here, right now, in my lab, I have uh, four uh, uh, Americans. Uh, I don't know their denomination, what Christian denominations are. And I know one of them is an atheist. Um, and I have... Um, three Chinese, and I have one Israeli, and we, we're all dealing with the same issue, solving scientific problem. I don't, don't care who's from where, what, what the religious belief they have, like you said. Uh, yeah. I guess the last main question I had is, what advice would you give to high school students, especially <coughs> ones who want to pursue a career in science? There are two things to consider. One is, 80 to 90 percent of experiments fail. So you should be really prepared to, to fail. Okay, uh, you, 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 you should be, um, you know, um, and, and uh, keep at it. So that, that's really important. And uh, it, it's not, uh, uh, the science not easy. Um, when I was student graduate student uh, postdoc, I worked uh, 18 hours a day. Um, and regardless of what you do, uh, you want to be, in my opinion, 
you want to be the best in your field, and to be the best you really need to work hard. And follow what's going on in, in technology, because m many questions that, that you ask cannot be solved until the technology is available. <coughs> Some of the experiments I described here for you. Um, I've been working on for 40 years, you could say, well, you, you, you must have been not that smart, took you 40 years to solve this issue, but some of the solutions, I couldn't ask them 10 years ago. Now technology is here, now we can use new technology to solve those problems. So, that, so that's uh, uh, the other uh, point I have to, to make about science. And, and finally, uh, um, you know, there are many things in life that gives us satisfaction. Uh, you know, our, our families and uh, having children and you know, uh, succeeding in sports and what have you. But um, at least in my experience, uh, nothing really compares to when you make a, a discovery.